Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. Now, just before we get to the giveaway that I did mention a couple of days ago in a community post, I do want to go over a couple of the basics on this series. And number one is that since this is a weekly series, I just like to give a friendly reminder that I always suggest that you watch last week's video just because we will not be going over the deals that were mentioned in that video. And a lot of the deals last more than seven days, so they're still ongoing currently. And secondly, although I do sprinkle in a couple of sub $5 deals in this general list, I now do a separate list midweek, so around Wednesday, where we focus solely on all the games that are on sale currently under $5. So if you want those awesome budget games, make sure to tune in to that second video that will be hitting around Wednesday. So now let's talk about that giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a download code for the awesome game Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Just to let you know, this is a US code, meaning that you will need a US eShop account. However, if, in case you didn't know, no matter what region from the world you are, you can open up an eShop account in the US region. And if you want to participate in this giveaway, I made it as simple as possible. All you have to do is comment in this video. Either comment about which game you would like to pick up for this week, or just drop any type of friendly comment down below, and basically I will automatically enter you in the giveaway. I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway in the under $5 video that will come out around Wednesday of this week. So make sure to tune in to see if you were selected. Now, if you are selected as the winner, just to let you know you have 48 hours to contact me through Wednesday's video and we'll arrange how I can deliver you with the code. One last thing before we get started on the list, this Cuphead giveaway couldn't come at a better time to get the ball rolling because starting on Wednesday every week, in line with the under $5 series, I'm going to be giving away a $5 eShop gift card. So tune into the channel and I'll explain how we'll go about that. Now with all that out of the way, let's get started on today's video. And don't forget that if you do like this content and you want to see more, the best way to support the channel is to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, the first game on our list is going to be the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Bundle. Now, in line with the movie releasing just last week, obviously this game was going to come on sale. And at 50% off for $29.99, this is a really amazing bundle. Why? Not only because you're getting the full Mortal Kombat 11 game, but you're getting pretty much each and every downloadable character that has come out so far. And look at all these characters. There are a ton of characters that have been released and there's a ton of value in this pack. So if you ever wanted to get into Mortal Kombat 11, this is probably the best time to do so because for only $30, you get everything you could ever want so far out of Mortal Kombat 11. Now for the second game on our list, we're going to be looking at the amazing Final Fantasy 7 that is currently 50% off, dropping the price to only $7.99. Now, if last week you thought that there weren't very many RPGs on the list, well, this week you'll be very happy because it is packed with RPGs. And among the top choices for this week, I would definitely put Final Fantasy VII. Now, this is a turn-based JRPG if you've never played it before, and it is one of the reasons that JRPGs actually are as popular as they are now in the West. Now, if you haven't played this game before, you definitely have to pick up the remake and play the original. Even if you eventually will play the full remakes on the PS4 and Xbox, make sure to play this one because this is the original experience that we got back in the day. Now, once again, most of the LEGO games are back on sale this week and they're massively on sale as usual. Now, pretty much every time these games are on sale, I do mention them in the list. However, I do say the same thing each and every time, meaning that don't pick up the collections that have to do with properties that you're not into. So if you're not into Harry Potter, don't pick up the Harry Potter collection. You won't be into these games because basically most of them you're replaying through the movies or the storylines that they're based on, but with a humoristic Lego twist. What I love about these games, number one, they're cheap and you get a ton of content, but secondly, they're co-op games and they're very family friendly. So if you need games that you can sort of play with your kids and have a fun time, these Lego games are amazing pickups. And at 75% off for $12.49 to play through the whole Harry Potter, story, Harry Potter storyline, this is an amazing pickup. Now, I won't go into details into each and every Lego series. Basically, I'll point them out, mention what I liked about the series, but we won't go into details into each and every one because it often comes back to the same explanation. 
Now, the next game on our list is going to be value-wise one of the most amazing packs for this week, which is the Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle, which is currently 74% off at only $10. Now, if you've ever wondered why I never mention the Double Dragon games when they're on sale on their own on these lists, that's because I'm always waiting for this pack where you pretty much get all of them and plus the amazing Kunio Kun series that only had partial releases here in the West. Now, if you want tons of awesome brawler games and really weirdly odd sports games, which is the Kunio Kun series, this is amazing retro fun. And you have hours and hours of co-op fun with this game because most of these games are at least built around being played either in one player mode or in co-op mode. So if you want an amazing retro series with some amazing co-op play, definitely pick up Double Dragon and Kunio Kun for only $10. Now next, we have another entry from the Final Fantasy series. We have Final Fantasy IX that is also 50% off at only $10.49. Now Final Fantasy IX is one of my personal favorites because it's based around a lot of the designs of the original Final Fantasy, but bringing them up to a more modern and personalized level, meaning that rather than having a bland black mage, they give a personality and an actual identity to the black mage design, which is something I really, really loved about Final Fantasy IX, and the storyline is incredibly enticing. So if you're going to pick up some of the Final Fantasies for this week, I would definitely say that this one should be another top choice on your list if you haven't played through it yet. Now we won't have to wait very long for our next Final Fantasy entry because it's coming up right next with Final Fantasy VIII Remastered that is also 50% off, dropping the price to only $9.99. Now this is the trio of Final Fantasy games from the original PS1 era and all of them are pretty much amazing. And Final Fantasy VIII is no exception. Of course, my personal enjoyment of this one is slightly less than Final Fantasy 7 and 9, but a lot of people will argue that actually Final Fantasy 8 is the best. And I don't want to start that argument today because all three of them are amazing games. So if you're into turn-based JRPGs, make sure to pick up this one as well this week. It's another amazing entry. Now the next LEGO game that we're going to be looking at is LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, what I've said about this game in the past, it's actually one of my favorites because normally it is almost the cheapest on the list. But this week, the base edition isn't on sale, but the deluxe pack is. And what I love about this is you're getting free DLC and it's only $11.24 with nonetheless a 75% discount. And why did I like Super Marvel Super Heroes 2 so much? It's that this one is actually playing through an original storyline for this game. So there was actually quite an enjoyment to see where the storyline was going. Now next, we're jumping into another series of games that are on sale this week, and that is the remake of the Star Wars games. And the first one I want to take a look at is Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Now, if you've ever wondered what it would be like to experience pod racing, well, you've got your answer here in Star Wars Episode 1 Racer that is currently 50% off at only $7.49. Now, I'll agree that this game does show its age because it does date back from the N64 era, but this remaster nonetheless does a pretty decent job of bringing an acceptable port to the Nintendo Switch. And it's really, really very honest to the original release of the game. I would have liked to see maybe a tiny bit of added content here that we didn't get, but nonetheless, at $7.49, this game does make a ton of sense and it's a ton of fun to play through an old school racer. Now, next on the list, we have another one of those classic Star Wars games, which is Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Now, personally, out of the three games, this is my favorite. But unfortunately, as in the previous game, it does so its age, especially I would say in the battle mechanics. But nonetheless, if you're a fan of Star Wars, you're going to have a ton of fun with this 3D action adventure game. And at 50% off for $9.99, I would say that now it makes perfect sense to pick this one up. I was actually waiting on trying to remake till a sale came around. So when it fell on sale this week, I jumped on these games right away. And I've been playing through them here and there all week between other gameplay sessions. And you know what? Although, like I said, these games are showing age, they are still tons of fun. Now next, let's jump to a brand new game that is already on sale, and that is Persona 5 Strikers. So basically, this is the Persona series that pretty much got the Warriors treatment that the Zelda series got a little bit at the end of last year. 
However, there is one thing that does separate the Persona 5 experience from those other Warrior series, and that this series actually still has a lot of the massive RPG elements and a very in-depth storyline with you walking around the different areas. So what I really actually didn't expect about this Persona series is that it actually keeps very honest to its RPG roots, although its gameplay is an action-based gameplay. So if you haven't picked this one up yet and you're into the Persona series, I would now say that this is a definite time to pick it up unless you want to wait till a further sale down the road. Now for our next game, we are moving on to another RPG, but this time it is going to be a strategy RPG. And that is this Gaia 5 Complete that is currently 50% off at $19.99. Now if you like massive strategy JRPGs, this Gaia 5 is my top choice for this week. We're going to look at a couple of other strategy RPGs and also even another couple of this Gaia games. But price wise to quality wise, I would say that this Gaia 5 for this week is your best pickup. And what's great about this game is it is massive where you can dump in more than hundreds and hundreds of hours into this game and you'll probably never see the end. At the same time, if you need any more convincing, this game has a free downloadable demo. So if you want to try it out for yourself before you jump into the zany action, try it out. Now, next on our list, we get to the last of the Star Wars trio for this week, and that is Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. Now, this is actually quite a budget entry at 50% off, dropping the price to only $4.99. However, the reason why this game is the cheapest of the trio, it's pretty much the oldest experience on the list as well, and it really does show its age. Although, as in the previous entries, if you're a fan of Star Wars, you are still going to have tons of fun with this game, and at a low, low price, I would definitely say that I would pick this one up for this week. Now, the next game on the list is going to be another one of the LEGO games. And once again, this is the deluxe bundle of the LEGO DC Super Villains that is on sale at 80% off, dropping the price to only $14.99. Personally, another one of my favorites, because once again, you're playing through an original storyline. And for once, you're playing as the villains, which is a nice twist on the standard gameplay. It is also one of the last games to come out, so it is one of the most advanced graphically. Now next we jump to another of the Final Fantasy games, which is Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Look, this ultimately is a great game and also it will show a lot less age than the previous entries because it dates from the PS2 era rather than the PS1 era. And at 50% off for $24.99, you are getting a huge storyline out of this game. Though, fair warning, this is where the gameplay finally shifted more from a turn-based combat system to a blend of turn-based and action combat. It is not purely in one category or the other, but I just want to mention it because some people it turned them off from the original gameplay, while other people loved the addition of the more action-oriented gameplay. Now, the next game on our list, however, will be a real action RPG, and that is Trials of Mana that is currently 50% off at $24.99. And this is actually a full remake of the classic. So if you want to really play an awesome action RPG with a very modern aesthetic, I would say pick up Trials of Mana for this week. I have this game physically. It is an amazing overall game, although the length is quite a bit shorter than some of the other RPGs on this list. But nonetheless, I would say that the graphical upgrade and the really gameplay uh, fun from Trials of Mana is worth the trade off. If you need any convincing for yourself, this one also has a free downloadable demo, so you can always try out the game before you decide to drop the $25. And the next game on our list just had to be mentioned for this week, and that is Catherine Fullbody. That's getting a first massive sale at 50% off, dropping the price to $24.99. Now, this is a very narrative-driven, puzzle-oriented game, and it has a very dark and intense storyline where a guy is basically stuck cheating on his girlfriend. So it's not some PG-type uh, concepts so if you're buying this for younger gamers definitely stay away from this one but nonetheless for older gamers this has a really an amazing and enticing storyline that has a lot of people coming back to this game regularly now next we're finally getting to a true indie action rpg and that is hyper light drifter the special edition this week that is currently 40 percent off at 11.99 
And I'm telling you, Hyperlight Drifter, if you're into action RPGs and especially pixelated aesthetics, is a really amazing game that you have to pick up. The graphical style, in my opinion, is just amazing based on a 16-bit style, but with some really awesome neon aesthetics. And on top of it, the gameplay is just amazing, but it isn't a very easy game. So be ready for quite a level of challenge out of Hyper Light Drifter. Now, the next game on our list is another amazing RPG series that I find sometimes is overlooked, and that is Star Ocean First Departure R that is currently 50% off at only $10.49. And on today's list, this is one of my personal favorites. Now, this is the remake of a remake because it was already remade for the PSP, and this is sort of a remaster or remake of that PSP version. But I really, really love the Star Ocean series. However, it is an old school JRPG series, meaning that it's quite slow to get started. But once it does get started, the storyline and the gameplay is quite amazing. And if you're into that old school JRPG style, I would definitely say that Star Ocean is a definite pickup for this week. Now, next on our list, we have another great action RPG, and that is Ease 8, that is currently 60% off for $23.99. Now, Ease 9 is just about to drop, so this is a perfect time to get up to date on the series and pick up Ease 8 for $23.99. Now, although that isn't a bargain bin price, you are still getting a very modern action RPG, and you're getting a ton of content for a price that I do find quite reasonable for this week. Now, next on our list, we're getting another RPG, but this time with a very comedic twist, we're getting South Park, the Stick of Truth. That is 60% off for $11.99. This game regularly goes on sale, and this is the original entry, which is a turn-based RPG. And I say it every time, if you're into the South Park style of humor, this is like you're playing through a huge, huge episode of South Park. So if you're a fan of the series, definitely pick this one up. So for our next entry, we're finally getting a temporary break from all the RPGs with Rayman Legends, the definitive edition that is currently 75% off at $9.99. Now look, this is a classic standard action platformer. And if you're into that standard type old school platforming, Rayman Legends is an awesome pickup. Trust me, at only $10, you're getting a top notch quality game with a ton of content and a ton of fun. If you need any more convincing for yourself, once again, this game has a free downloadable demo. Now, the next game on our list is going to be the original Disgaea that is also on sale this week for 60% off at $19.99. If you want to see where the whole Disgaea series started, you can pick this one up. And there's a reason why even the first one is still around years, years after its release. It's that basically this game has aged very well and with the amount of content in it, even after 10 years, you'll find something new to do in this game. It's almost never ending. But basically, this week, I still would choose the fifth one over the first one if I only had to pick up one game. But if you are really into the strategy RPG genre, you can definitely pick up the first one as well. Now, next on our list, we have Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. That is currently 60% off, dropping the price to only $15.99. Now, if you're into the Assassin's Creed series or you're just into 3D action games, Assassin's Creed 3 should be a definite stop for this week, especially that at only $16 for a fully crafted Assassin's Creed game, it is quite a bargain. Now the next game on our list is going to be a collection which is the Collection of Mana that is currently 50% off at $19.99. Now if you're into retro RPGs, this is a definite collection you should look into with one Game Boy game and two SNES eras. And you actually get the original Trials of Mana in this collection which we looked at the remake just a little bit earlier. So if you're looking for tons of hours of gameplay for a low price for this week, this collection is a definite good pickup. Now, the next game on our list is going to be an amazing fighter, which is Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle, the Special Edition. Now, in this week's under $5 video, we actually looked at the base version of this game that's only $5. However, what we're looking at here in the Special Edition is basically the base game, but with all the DLC included. So if you really wanted to dive deep into the Blast Blue Cross Tag uh, Battle game, I would definitely say that you're better off right away picking up the pack because you've got way more than $25 worth of content here. And at 49% off, this is a great time to pick up the full game. 
Fair warning though, this is a pretty deep fighter, meaning that it's going to be taking hours of dedication and practice before you actually become very proficient in this game, unless you're very used to fighters already. Now, last of the Disgaea games that are on sale for this week is Disgaea 4 Complete Plus. Now look, this game is a slightly more expensive than the others, and that's why my top choice for this week value-wise would be Disgaea 5. But nonetheless, Disgaea 4 Complete Plus is a very complete strategy JRPG. Once again, free downloadable demo. Check it out. We're not going to go any further because this is basically the same reasons that the other two games are great. So the next game on our list is going to be another amazing 2D fighter, and that is Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R. That is currently 34% off at only $9.80. Now, this is a more traditional one-on-one -on -one style fighter, but it is another very deep one. So if you're looking for a new fighting game to get into that has a very deep but very fun fighting system, I would definitely say keep an eye out on Guilty Gear XX Accent Core for this week. Now, next on our list is going to be R-Type Dimensions EX which is an amazing side-scrolling 2D space shooter. It's currently 70% off at only $7.49. I actually just picked up the brand new R-Type Final 2 that just came out and I'm actually working on the review right now. And when I saw that R-Type Dimensions EX fell to 50% off, I was like, this is an amazing time to pick it up. I was actually missing this one from my collection and I picked it up and I couldn't help myself. I had to play through a couple of stages right away and the gameplay really stands up today. Anyway, if you need any more convincing for yourself, if you're into the 2D space shooter genre, there's a free downloadable demo to the game to try it out. Now, last on our list of 2D fighters for this week, we have Blast Blue Central Fiction, the special edition that is currently 60% off at $19.50. Now, contrary to the Blast Blue tag battle system, which is where 2v2 fights, this is the traditional 1v1 fighter that the Blast Blue series has been known for originally. And it is a excellent entry. Once again, if you're into 2D fighters and you're looking for a new series, this could be a definite one to pick up for this week. But once again, takes a lot of dedication, takes a lot of hours. So I'd normally suggest focusing on one of these pickups and really getting in depth in that one game. Now, the next game is one of my all time favorite 2D platformers slash Metroidvanias. That is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom that is currently 60% off at $15.99. And I really love when this game is on sale. Because at its full price of $39.99, that is asking quite a lot. But at $15.99, you get an amazing package for only $16. And if you're into 2D platformers and you haven't played this one yet, do yourself a favor and pick it up. It is really, really worth the investment. It is an overall great game with amazing graphics and a great, amazing gameplay. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Romancing Saga 3 that is currently 50% off at $14.49. Now, this is another old school JRPG with some really great pixel art. What I love about Romancing Saga are the old school visuals. However, the gameplay, I do give a warning, it is very old school JRPG, very slow to develop, and the storyline is very central to Eastern realities. That is not a negative point. It is just something that you have to be ready for because if you're not into those styles of gameplay unfortunately you might feel disconnected from these entries now to follow that up we also have romancing saga 2 that is 50 percent off at 12 dollars 49 now this has the same upsides and downsides as the previous entry with some amazing pixel art but unfortunately some really old school gameplay if you're into that definitely pick this one up now, the next entry on our list is going to be Blossom Tales The Sleeping King that is basically very heavily based on a top-down Zelda game. I've said it in the past, it's probably as close as you can get to a real top-down Zelda game without it actually being called Zelda. And at 60% off for $5.99, although this game is fairly shorter than a traditional Zelda, it feels just right at that price. And if you need any more convincing for yourself, once again, this is another game this week with a free downloadable demo. 
Now with only two or three entries left on our list, we do have one last RPG entry. However, it is one of the higher quality ones for this week, and that is The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. That is currently 40% off at $35.99. Now what's great with Trails of Cold Steel 4 just coming out, if you wanted to put yourself up to date on the series and you were waiting for a sale on the third one, well here it is back on sale. This is a great JRPG. Honestly, if you haven't played through this one and you're a fan of JRPGs, this is another definite one that you should look at eventually investing in. And if you need any convincing for yourself, once again, I've said it often this week, but this is another game with a free downloadable demo. So try it out for yourself. And if you're into it, drop the $36. Now the before last entry on our list is nonetheless going to be a great one and that is SNK the 40th Anniversary Collection that is currently 50% off at only $19.99. Now what I love about this collection of arcade classics from SNK is you get a little bit of everything. You have top down space shooters, you have brawlers, you have 2D action games, you even have strategy tank games. You're getting a little bit of everything. So if you're the kind of player that loves old school arcade games of all types, the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection has a little bit of everything for everyone. And at only $20, it's a pretty decent price. So far, they've even updated it with a couple of extra free games. Hopefully that is something that will continue. Don't know if it will, but nonetheless, this collection is a pretty decent pickup. Now we're ending this week's list with a bang. We're ending it with a game that I'm sorry to say I was late to the party on. And that is an amazing 2D action platformer named Horus that is currently 40% off, dropping the price to $8.99. And if you ask me honestly, this is my top choice for this week. And I'm so sorry that I was late to the party on this game because this game is so great that I would actually probably think I'd have to rework my top 2D platformer lists to include this game in it. And I don't know why I missed it, but I'm so thankful to someone to suggesting it to me for this week, because at $8.99, this is quite an amazing pickup if you're into retro 2D platformers. And I would say even at its full price of $15, this game is an amazing pickup all around. So do yourself a favor, if you're into 2D platformers, you haven't tried Horus yet, definitely pick this one up for this week. So that is it. That is the end of our massive list of eShop deals for this week. I don't know if you've counted with me, but we've looked at over 35 games this week. And I know there were a ton of RPGs and strategy RPGs, but just as the people asking me for the RPGs last week, I don't control the deals. I just make the lists. Now on the way out, don't forget that if you do want to participate in the giveaway for the awesome Cuphead download code, please don't forget to leave your comment down below and tune in Wednesday to find out who the winner is. And as usual, and as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget that if you did like this content and you want to see more, the best way to support the channel is to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.